Everybody, welcome. It's the 11th of June, 2021. I'm AZ motherfucking D. This is my video blog for adults. Welcome, everybody. This is for adults. No kids here, please. I'm going to be speaking in rated X terms, which is I'll be socially, I mean socially, I'll be uh, sexually explicit and socially explicit. I'll be sexually explicit and rated R. I'll be um, aggressive and harsh language. If you don't like those things, change the channel right now, okay? Save your drama for your mama later. Your comments don't count after this if you say anything like that, okay? Because you've been warned, wrong video for you. You're responsible for your own condition. Whatever I teach, you should definitely talk about it because it's going to change the world. And let everybody know AZD and IMC Nation are here. We're doing our shit. Let's go to the next video blog today. And today I'm going to talk about um, some basic problems that men have that they shouldn't have. And by me talking about that, it's going to balance out the female too. How do I know this? Because I did a mentorship lecture yesterday to women only, and I spoke on these principles, and they all felt incredibly, incredibly free at the end. And I knew that if there was any men hearing it, which they will, because the product's gonna come out later, I knew the effect on them would be even greater. So this is one of those things that like, when you know the truth about a subject, it clears out all the bullshit lies that you've been living with. That's why it feels good to hear it, okay? So let me tell you something that I teach to my lions then, that's the men that I teach every single day, every single day today at 10, 10 a.m., so it's around 8.30 right now, hour and a half from now, I'm gonna be teaching, okay? And here is one of the most important principles that we go over every fucking day, and I'm trying to make everybody understand this, and they will. I'm the example. Watch this. Uh, one sec. Okay. Here is an idea that all men, homo sapiens on earth, should work with, okay? You and I... As men, we don't have any kind of um, mental problems. Like a man doesn't go to a therapist. The idea that a man would go seek therapy. I, hold on, before you fucking jump on my shit, just like your mom always does, relax for a fucking second. Let me explain the whole idea first, okay? A man going to sit down with another person to talk about emotional trauma that he suffered in this lifetime because he can't get on with it, or he can't control himself from doing drugs or doing something stupid or whatever, right? Just that whole idea is so pathetic, It's so pathetic that I can't even wrap my hands around it. That doesn't mean I don't experience negative emotions or I've felt bullshit through my whole life. Yes, I have. But the idea that any of those things could literally have any effect on breaking me or stopping me from doing the next activity is just false. It has never equaled in my mind that that equals I can't do it. It's just equal that hurts. I wonder if I could make it not hurt. That's always been the problem, right? It's never been like, for example, learning how to approach women, learning how to talk to women, all that other stuff. It was never a question whether or not I was going to get it right. It was never a question of whether or not I was going to have the life I have. That was never the question. The question was, can I find a sequence that makes the pain of these relationships, the pain of rejection, the pain of betrayal and all that, less and less and less. And then I, I would teach that. I've only been teaching how to ease the suffering. Although it looks like I've been teaching how to do something. Now I'm teaching how to do something. And I've been doing that for about two weeks now. What am I teaching now? I'm teaching something called the AZD process. I'm taking everything out of it. And the AZD process is everything that I've learned, put together with everything my teacher Manu taught me into one little package that fucking works. And when I'm just doing this and nothing else, well, I mean, why, why did I go through the surrender experiment and the Eckhart Tolle's and everything else? I went through it from the perspective, I swear, on everything I have, on, on my own parent and everything, everything. I would always go through it with the perspective of how can I take this and use it to help others understand what I'm doing better. It's always been that. I've always looked from the perspective of a teacher or a guide or somebody that was trying to get another person out of the fucking hell. Okay? I got this fucking eye thing here. and It's not going away. It's, like a, it's not an eye booger, everybody. It's a fucking... Like a, I don't know, some kind of infection happening or some shit. It sounds gross, but it's all right. Okay, anyways. Um, this, this whole idea of me having to be okay was put on me by society. You see, I never grew up thinking I wouldn't be okay. 
I always grew up knowing I could handle anything. And I'll bet you, you also have the same feeling somewhere deep inside of yourself. To pay close attention. Okay? And then people started coming around telling us if we were okay and if we needed this and we needed that. And then we started to gather that as an idea. And then we started to see men that were working on being okay. A man should only work on one thing. Go conquer more land, motherfucker. That's, you want to work on something? Go work on becoming stronger so you could take on more land. Not become stronger so you could live your own pathetic fucking life which has no fucking action in it. And that's what you guys are doing. You're trying to become strong enough to live your own pathetic existence. And when I say pathetic, I mean pathetic. I mean fucking if Alexander the Great came back and looked at us, he would just be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, that is so pathetic, I can't even imagine how he would think about us, okay? And that's a problem because we have more things than Alexander the Great did. But we've learned to become pussified in a society that's pussified, in a world that's pussified, okay? The woman has taken over as an energy. The female energy, evening have, has won. Now we're bringing the light, the man, the male, the son, the son of God. We bring the light now. In order to do that, we must dispel the darkness. As the light shows up, the darkness goes away. Now, how do we do this? First of all, men, you're not engaged in any activity all through the day besides one thing, strengthening your character so that you could take on more and more of territories. Not strengthening your character so you could be okay in your miserable ass life without a girl or with a shitty girl or married to the wrong person or now you don't have enough money. You're fucking gay. You're fucking so fucking gay and it's just as gay as it could be. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to have any of these ideas. Who taught you that a man needs to go sit on a therapy table? No, he doesn't. If he does, it's under another context. It's like creating a wolverine. I'm going to go sit there and they're going to use very high level mental abilities. They've learned through Scientology or whatever else. And what they can do is then free me of any past life problems that I have or any problems I may have now that slow down my... my um, sword stroke or slice. That's what a man is supposed to be. A man is never doing anything to just be okay. That means he's sick. That means he's sick. That means he's laying in bed wanting to fucking, his temperature goes down so he could get up and live. And all you men are sick. You're fucking sick. I'm telling you. You're walking around like you don't have any testosterone. Like you got one sperm running through your dick the whole time because that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like when I take a look at the women in your life. I go, you must have either just eggs running through your system or one sperm because I could not live like that. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. How are you okay with that shit? How are you okay? How are you okay not having money? How are you okay with that? What, because you're involved in self-help activities that make you okay doing that? the fuck is wrong with you? How the fuck do you not have money if you go, go work, go work, go work. Do you know what that word means? W-O-R-K. It means go put in some fucking energy. So somebody else gives you some fucking cash for it. And if you can't do that, I ask you a question. What the fuck are you doing then? Now someone needs to talk to you properly. And this is the right way to talk to people. Okay. I'm tired of that pussyfooting bullshit. It's like sometimes men can't, you know how many times? They can't afford $97 a month. Hold on a second, motherfucker. Let me just break that down one more time. Unless you live in a country that pays you a dollar a day, okay? But I'm talking about United States now in Europe, all right? $97 a month is $3.25 a day. If you cannot afford that, you really need to go get a job, okay? Like that's, you should not do anything else today besides go get a job, Okay? The fuck is wrong with you? So, men have taken on these pussified ideas of women. Women need therapy. Women need to talk all day. I don't want to sit down and talk to any of my girlfriends hours and hours about my problems. I, I hope they would fucking just turn around and slap me if I did some dumb shit like that. What the fuck? Can you imagine me sitting down with a girlfriend of mine being like, Do you have a minute to talk? Like, what the fuck did I just say? Do you guys do that shit? You know that's where you're fucking up in your fucking lives? The fuck are you gonna tell her? I just wanted to go over something with you because blah, 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 blah. But hey, let me tell you something. Don't do that. That's the end. Okay? You did A, don't do A again. You did B, don't do B again. You got it? That's the end. I don't, I don't want that to happen. There is the end of our conversation. I don't need to get into 
a long historic evaluation of how, how I came up to this conclusion to convince her to accept it. She can accept it or not accept it. I've already done my own goddamn life. I've done my research. I'm smarter. I'm older. I'm stronger. That's why I'm dating her. I'm not dating someone who's bigger and stronger than me, someone who's smarter than me. Why would I do some dumb shit like that? I can't even find a woman like that. But if I could, why would I do something like that? Why the fuck would I do something like that? I'm looking for a hot woman, a hot woman who's soft and feminine, and knows how to treat a man. End of qualifications, motherfucker. End of my qualifications for a woman. A beautiful woman who's soft and feminine and knows how to treat a man like me. End of qualifications. I could give a fuck what your IQ is. I could give a goddamn who you were, where you've been, who you've dated, who you haven't dated, whether you're a virgin or not. I don't give a goddamn flying fuck. You meet me now. Now things change. Starting from here, here's what I want. Got it? Good. Now, if you do that, we're good. The rest is your bullshit. And what's happening is you men are going in there trying to create these relationships that are trying to, you're, you're like trying to save your own soul through a relationship. That's as gay as you could possibly be. Okay, that's as gay as you could possibly be. You're not supposed to do what, you're not supposed to use a relationship to grow. I know we've said that, but look, I evolved. Thank God I'm not the same goddamn little butterfly I was before, right? Like, let's keep growing, let's keep growing. Okay? A woman uses the relationship to grow, okay? That's what she does. I'm not going to use a relationship to grow. I use a relationship to relax and have fun and enjoy my life. End of story. End of story. I don't understand why else you would get with a woman. You need to work this out a little bit better for yourself, okay? If you can't enjoy her company, and if she's not being the type of woman you want, you should not have anything to do with her. You shouldn't talk to her. You shouldn't text her. You shouldn't be around her. You shouldn't even know her. Like, get the fuck away from these people. Why? Because you have a good life. Go get on with it. See, the beauty of a man is the man doesn't need much to be happy. A woman needs a lot. It's facts. A man doesn't need much. Someone go, I don't need much. Yeah, look, a woman needs a man to be happy. That's the bottom line. But a man doesn't need a woman to be happy. There's a big difference. Because if we, and it's worked out really easy. If we were in the jungle and you were a woman and you were living in a tribe of women, right? And we were men living in a tribe of men, you guys would not be doing very well. You'd all be attacked and raped and killed before you fucking knew it. You would need a man to be happy, to be secure. Got it? That's the thing. And the only reason why a man would want a woman is to have sex with her. That's it. And have a baby with her. There's nothing else that God created this for. Now, when you guys get to the bottom of this thing, then you can understand why she needs to be soft and feminine. Why she needs to look good and smell good. Why she shouldn't speak a certain way. Why? Because he is looking at her as an object of his desire that he wants to be with, like in a sexual way. And unless he's fucking gay or he's beta, then he sure as fuck doesn't want to be fucked by another man or a chick that's in his face. Why, why the fuck would an alpha want somebody to get in his face? Why, why in the world would a man want a woman to argue with him? So that she could teach him what? And, and you guys say dumb shit like that too. You know, like, well, you know, I learned a lot. Man, you could learn from a fucking pebble. If you went and looked at a pebble long enough, you would come up with some fucking theory, I bet you. That's what my mind does. Our minds as men, we learn shit. We learn things. You can't stop us from learning, Okay. There's so much natural process taking place in this life and you're suffering because you're, you're misunderstanding it, you're misinterpreting it, and you're not seeing it for what it is. You don't even gotta, even gotta do much in this whole thing, okay? You really don't have to do very much besides guide the energy and channel the direction that it's going. You have to channel the, your own actions, which direction you want your actions to be today. You have to channel your thoughts, but you don't have to necessarily think your thoughts. Right? Thoughts are going to be fucking happening. And if you see yourself having negative bad thoughts, just channel differently. Just decide the direction of your life, okay? And that's what a man actually does. That's called leading. Leading means deciding the direction of something. Okay? Like if we're all in the forest and I go, you lead. What does that fucking mean? It means go ahead and we'll follow you. All right? And now everyone's got all these weird ideas of how does a man lead a woman? He just tells her what direction they're going. That's it. That's it. This is the direction of our life. 
This is the direction of our month. This is the direction of our income. This is what I'm. This is where we're going. That's leading. Why? She's not designed to lead. What does that mean? She's not designed to give direction, and that's why women suck at leading. She can't give direction. She can take it real well because she's supposed to follow. But when she gets in a position of giving direction, she starts doubting her own decisions. She doubts herself too quickly. She can be thrown off of her pedestal too easily by someone questioning her. Okay? And a firm man, no, he, he can't. Like Socrates, he can't. You, you, he'll drink poison before he fucking gives up the truth. So that's the difference between the two. There was no woman drinking poison anywhere in history. For truth, anywhere. There's not one woman. What, what the fuck you guys talk about? Rosa Parks, a little black lady who sat in the back of the bus? That's your fucking claim to fame as a woman standing up for rights? Huh? This little black chick who barely could probably fucking walk, was too tired to get up probably. She's probably just had it. Like, fuck this. I ain't getting up. But that these cracking, cracking motherfuckers hit me. And then became a whole fucking movement. That's your woman, powerful, stand up for something and let's celebrate this bitch. Rosa fucking Parks. And you ought to make such a big deal out of her. The reason why Rosa Parks was able to do that is because some men stepped up and defended her. Just so you know. The only reason why things change is because men take up arms. Men become strong enough to stand up to oppression and say enough is enough. That's actually the only time things change. All right? And all else is the storyline that the female is spreading throughout the world and brainwashing everybody. So she could do what fucking the devil, which is the female, would do in nature, which is take over, right? It's the battle of light and dark. Dark has been winning. The female agenda has been winning. So now the whole world is brainwashed into pretending something and destroying masculinity. That's what that happens to the world, okay? Just like everything else in nature, nature seeks its own balance, right? So suddenly, let's say I, I come into being, a, a virus that spreads fast. Why? Because the female doesn't have a way of stopping what I'm saying. What I'm saying is so powerful that when she listens, she literally submits by listening. She can't stop it. I'm hitting her at the deepest DNA level. She cannot... Stop the attraction. I know this. I know I can look like a fucking donkey and I'll still go get women. It doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. It makes no difference anymore. Okay? Because the core of the woman has been understood. Like if someone understands the core of the man, the male, he's very easy. And women are very easy. Women are easier, actually. Women are easier. Why? Well, because the moment that you lead them... They, they follow. But a man, you can't just lead him. You can't just lead him. Right? You're going to have to really convince another man that you could lead him. There's a whole different world. A woman, you could lead her with dominance. A man, you try to lead me with dominance without reason, it ain't going to work. Okay? It's just not going to work. So, women are much easier to figure out. The code is real simple, everybody. I'm going to go over in Lion's Den. So what you got to do is go sign up for Lion's Den, all right? You go to arajzapar.com, A-R-A-S-H-Z-E-P-A-R.com, okay? Arajzapar.com, and you sign up for Lion's Den. It should be a link over there for 97 bucks a month, and I'll see you in class. If you can't make it to, to the class time, then you get to watch the video later, okay? And really, what is the code of the man and the woman? It's dominant, dominance and submission as a wheel, yin and yang, okay? Dominance and submission. That's, that's the yin and the yang. And if the woman continues to practice the submissive arts and he continues to practice the dominant arts and he doesn't do anything else and she doesn't do anything else, then when they come around each other, they'll create such a magnetic force between each other, electricity, that they have to have a child. And that child would be a proper child. It will be the perfect combination of dominance and submission, the two DNA, right? Where we find our complement in our creation as a child, not by me becoming a girl and you becoming a guy. 
That's not even attractive, okay? That was yesterday's mentorship lecture. It was so powerful. How you guys could attract, create attraction in the, in the opposite sex so fast, okay? It's not what you think it is. You got it wrong and I got it right. That's why I can do what I can do with women, okay? All right, I am C Nation. Be the best, fuck the rest.